This morning we're in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 31, to chapter 4 and verse 9. And in this passage, God is demanding of his people purity in their faith. It's not good enough to worship at the temple and also worship on the mountains and have their idols by the roadside. God demands purity. He will not share his glory with another. God demands purity in his church too. He demands that we are pure in our doctrine and pure in our living and lifestyle before him. There's also a warning. Because you say you're innocent, because you deny your sin, the Lord will judge. And this is in the New Testament too. If we say no, we have no sin, we deny, uh, we uh, deceive ourselves and we make God out to be a liar. Confession of sin is important in, the, in terms of repentance and being saved. Unless we admit to our need of a saviour. We can't be saved. So one reason God was judging them was because they had um, denied that they'd sinned. They pretended to be innocent. God, still demanding purity, was speaking in the lifetime of the king Josiah. Now, Josiah was a good and righteous king who restored much worship in the uh, land of Israel. And yet God had much to say about it's not good enough. Yeah, to be worshipping him and also worshipping idols at the same time. And so God was still calling for an increased purity. And God still calls, I believe, to his church for an increased purity in our worship and in our doctrine and in our lives. God demands purity. It's not enough to have a little bit of God and a bit of something else. And this message goes on through the um, passage. But it does say this. Faithless Israel was more righteous than unfaithful Judah. Faithless Israel, who had departed from true faith, had begun to believe in idols, just didn't have faith in God anymore, was better than unfaithful Judah. Why would that be? Because Judah knew the truth, accepted the truth, but refused to live righteously before the Lord. It's better to be faithless than unfaithful. There's a little meditation for you for today. Amen.